Hello friends, I'm Dr. Pooja Kapoor, Pediatric Neurologist, uh, Director and Co-Founder, Continua Kids. So the topic of my discussion is a uh, role of camel milk in autism spectrum disorder. So from where it all started? It all started on 13th of this month when uh, all over the headlines in the newspaper and news channel there was at how uh, railways transported 20 liters of camel milk from Rajasthan all over to uh, Mumbai for a 3.5 year old autistic child who was allergic to casein and uh, could not have the milk because of the lockdown. So after this news came into picture, I got multiple phone calls from all over uh, uh, parents of autistic children asking about uh, whether they should try this for their child uh, and what is the role and how does it's beneficial uh, to their children in uh, autism. So before I start with the uh, thing, I would like to say that autism spectrum disorder, as we all know, we don't know still the etiopathogenesis of the uh, disorder. That means we still don't know how and uh, what happens to a brain that it gives rise to this kind of disorderly behavior. So once if you don't know the cause of it, how could you treat it? My first point against use of camel milk is this. Now let's get into the chemical properties of camel milk. Camel milk was extensively studies, studied and uh, it has been found to be hypoallergic. It has no casein and uh, it does not form cheese because of lack of casein. Also it has very less amount of beta globulin because which is responsible for the so-called uh, autism spectrum. Uh, how this is it causes is that beta lactoglobulin which is there present in all uh, milk of cattle like cow and buffalo and sheep and it is not present in camel milk and it is said that this chemical give rise to another chemical which is a opioid form and it goes into the brain and cause all the symptoms which a autism spectrum disorder child has. So because camel milk does not have this, so it is a very safe product and usage of this can uh, not only prevent uh, destruction but also can heal the child who has the, the symptomatology of autism spectrum disorder. So uh, this is the hypothesis. This is not a fact. It has not been proven scientifically that because of these qualities present in the camel milk, you can heal the child. Second point against camel milk is this. Once you have, uh, you, you let a medicine do the wonders, it is only through uh, randomized control trials or through case control studies that you prove okay this medicine works well in this disease and so let's try it for uh, a number of people but in the case of camel milk when I reviewed the literature there was just uh, case studies that means uh, parents telling of their individual uh, children of giving n amount of milk for so many years and then they saw the improvement so this point against goes this point again goes against the use of camel milk because the dose we don't know the dose there are only hardly any few um, case studies there are uh, no uh, the, we don't know for how long we have to give this to get the benefit and for all those children all those parents who said that by giving camel milk their child improve over the period of 2 years 4 years 30 days it may be because of the other things which they must be using. Maybe the therapy is going on well. Maybe the therapist has been changed and he has been giving up very good therapist. Or maybe with time over the span of four years, the child itself has improved in intellectual thing and, the, and decreased the stereotypies. So until and unless it is proven that exclusively camel milk is the one which caused the changes in the uh, symptomatology of autism spectrum disorder 
I don't think I will give this to my child. My child is not a guinea pig which can try, which each and everything can be tried on that. So this point also goes against the use of the camel milk in ASD. The other thing is the practical issues. Have you ever tasted camel milk? It is very high on salt. So even if you let your small child drink that, uh, maybe he'll become more irritable. Maybe he will not like other um, food which he is already taking and then he may become deficient in other nutrients. So think it that way. Once it is proven and it is through the case control studies, through the randomized controlled trials, you get the proof of it, then use it. So it's uh, my individual request to you all. Again, the same thing. Don't treat your child as a guinea pig. Think something about his individuality also. I know that every parent who has a special need child want to get this, uh, want to get rid of the ailment as soon as possible. But then uh, this is not a shortcut and you are dealing with a life and uh, I cannot try it with each and everything which is available in the commercial market. So, hope you will find my advice sane. Thank you very much.